This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking real time analysis mode in Spike. Analyzing signals in real time is critical for characterizing short duration spectral events, interference hunting, as well as monitoring spread spectrum signals and observing frequency hopping communication channels. Real time spectrum analysis guarantees 100% probability of intercept for signals of a specific duration. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. Tom here, president of Signal Hound. And today I want to give you a quick introduction to the real-time analysis mode in Spike using an SM200C spectrum analyzer and a VSG60A signal generator. Unlike swept analysis, where the instrument can sweep across spans greater than the real-time bandwidth by acquiring multiple IF patches, concatenating the results of those FFT processing on each IF, real-time analysis is done only on the real-time bandwidth of the instrument with no loss of sample data. This is crucial in characterizing short duration spectral events, interference hunting, as well as monitoring spread spectrum signals and observing frequency hopping communications channels. If you're not familiar with the swept analysis mode in Spike, take a look at the introductory video and familiarize yourself. Let's dive in. So what I've done on the VSG60 is I've set up a five microsecond wide pulse with a period of two milliseconds to illustrate some of the challenges that you have in the swept analysis mode. So in swept analysis mode, you can see when I'm looking at the full span that um, I can see the noise floor, I can see a few peaks, and maybe every once in a while I'll see that short pulse signal. I know that the short pulse signal, I happen to know that it's centered at one gigahertz, so I'll change to a one gigahertz center and see if that helps us out any. I'll go ahead and enable persistence to see if that's helping us any. Oh, persistence does help us a little bit in swept analysis mode. We can kind of see that there's something happening there. So let's switch over to real-time analysis mode. Now, real-time analysis mode on an SM200 or an SM435 um, is supports on the Cs up to 160 megahertz of bandwidth. But notice that the span that I have set is greater than 160 megahertz of bandwidth. On the SM series, we support a thing called pseudo real-time analysis, where we're actually sweeping across a larger span than the real-time bandwidth. It's just kind of a pseudo real-time mode that, that we offer. And you can see, even in pseudo real-time mode, that we can see that pulse a little more relevantly and apparently than we could before in the swept analysis mode. Notice that the probability of intercept from that signal is uh, duration is 11 milliseconds. It's kind of hopping between six milliseconds at the low end, there's one for five, and 20 milliseconds. That's the duration that a signal needs to be active for, for 100% probability of intercept. So let's see what happens when I start to decrease the span in real-time analysis mode. We're still in pseudo real-time analysis mode, still streaming more or spanning more than 160 megahertz of bandwidth. And notice that the POI is changing as well, duration percentage. But as I get closer to the actual real-time bandwidth of the device, then we begin to see actually a, a good solid signal. And you can see there is something here at that, at that frequency, a pulse signal at that frequency. We took a very brief look at the real-time spectrum analysis mode in Spike, trying to find an intermittent short duration pulse in both swept analysis mode and real-time analysis mode. We also saw the effects of entering pseudo real-time mode on the probability of intercept. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like, follow, and subscribe for more Signal Hound and RF content.